420 things grow in Ontario. Um, back at you guys, uh, an unboxing here. Um, so this will be one of the first uh, items that I've gotten off of uh, Amazon in a minute. But uh, it's uh, let's see what it looks like here. Da -da -da -da. PH pen. So. You've seen this cheapo beepo that I've gotten off of here. I've ordered another one that's just this. This one came with like a PPM meter and a uh, pH one, and it was like 30 bucks. So I bought this one. It's quite expensive, um, but apparently it's uh, supposed to be pretty good. Now, that being said, um, I've ordered a second one as well um, in the price range of over 120 some dollars, right? So. Uh, let's take a peek at this one and see what we get here. Um, let's see what comes in the box. In there. Okay, yeah, a whole little thing here. So, paper box is now empty. This is in a different language, so I can't really read it. All right, so you got your pH pen. Blue last pH pen. It's got on there good. I don't know how to... Hopefully I don't break this. Maybe I should look into it. <laughs> it's not really working. It's so strong. No. But anyways, that's uh, how it comes. There's some stuff in here. Um, let's see what we got here. We got a little bag of solution. A little bag of solution. And another bag of solution, and that's it. Before first use, first use carpet pen. Hydrate the pH to cover the probe tip in a plastic cup. Leave to soak for 24 hours. Follow instructions on the back to pen to calibrate. Well, that's before your first use, so I guess I'm uh, going to uh, use a cup, some sort of plastic cup. Hey, look, I have some plastic cup right here. Um, I guess this is, I'm going to have to do this before first use, right? So, get something like this, kind of get in there and prop it up against something. Let's do that. Alright, so I've propped it up against the back side and another side, just so that it doesn't fall over. I don't want this table to get moved and to fall over. It's got to be in there for 24 hours, so, yeah, here we go. Alright, so just uh, while we're waiting here for that 24 hours, the pH probe must not be allowed to dry out. Add three to five drops of Blue Lab pH storage solution into the round hole of the storage cap each week. Always place the storage cap back onto the probe tip after use. So, I guess the glass bulb with internal tube can be easily damaged. Avoid knocks, sudden temperature changes, and touching the glass bulb directly. pH pen care. To prove the response of time and performance of the Blue Lab, I recommend each week I three to five drops of storage solution to the round hole of the cap. Place storage cap onto the pen. Each month, clean, hydrate, and calibrate the pH probe. Okay, well, each week you do that? Add three to five drops of storage solution in the round hole each week. So I just do it once of the week. And as long as it's okay with that, I'm all right. Like that doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, I'm going to be checking pH every other day, every day, every other day in a hydroponic system. Three to five drops every week, once a week. Do a little bit more research on that, but that's uh, that's what it says. Not sure if I'm uh, I'm born with this, but uh, we'll get back into this. Uh, so I've done them before. First use to clean. This is the uh, directions how to clean and remove storage cap. Rinse, uh, rinse the pH probe tip in fresh water. Fill a small plastic container with tap water. Small amount of blue edge probe, probe cleaner or mild detergent. I don't have any probe cleaner. Dish locking liquid. Gently stir the probe in the mixer and ensure that you do not knock the probe on the side of the container. As many cause damage uh, to the glass probe. Rinse well. Okay. If the probe tip requires removal. Of heavy contamination, gently brush around the glass with a few drops of Blue Lab probe cleaner or dishwashing liquid and a soft toothbrush. Rinse around with water, hydrate and calibrate the probe solution. Okay, soak in storage solution for 24 hours. pH calibrate instructions are in the back of the pen. 
Play storage cap back on, add three to five drops. So, okay, so lots of care and stuff for this pen. I ordered a different pen company as well. And uh, it came with a box and a, and a thing, and it was about the same price point. Not this $30 cheap one, right? Got one of those coming as well. Um, so once I get the cheap one, once I get this one, once I get the other one, I'll try to see what they look like and see how they work together on the same liquid, see what kind of different readings I get, and uh, decide which one's the best one. Like, uh, I don't know which one's going to work well, but uh, I guess we'll find out here shortly. Be back.